Oh my gosh, look at that color. Look at that color. Oh my gosh, it looks like little chocolates. Some kind of nutty chocolate coffee dessert amazingness. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a little show and tell for y'all today and it's on a Laura Geller QVC set. This is the For the Love of Chocolates, a seven piece collection of chocolate beauty delights. So it is adorable looking on the outside, super cute, looks like it has a little bow. It is adorable. I love the packaging of it and it's a really thick, nice box. So I thought that I would just run through the different products in here, kind of share my thoughts on each one and just my overall impressions on this box. So let's get to it. So when you first open it up, it has this really pretty sheet with this nice little pattern on there. On the back of this sheet, it shows all your different products that you get in the set. So I always like those little details where it kind of talks about what you're getting in your set and it's just a little overview about everything. So I always love that. And then they do give you a little look card in here, which is really nice. So you have a look one and a look two. I didn't actually follow this today. I mean, I might be close to one of these looks. I don't know. I was just kind of playing with the products. So yeah, so I didn't follow this, but it's always nice to have these in here if you want some kind of like inspiration ideas. And then the actual set, this is what it looks like. So you get seven different products in here and these are in here really tightly. Now I have mine kind of like popped up a little bit so I could get them out to show you. But when I first got this set, I was having to like hulk my way into getting into these because they are really tightly packed in there, which is nice because then they don't move around in shipment and they're a lot safer that way. So just know you may have to like really lay into them to get them out of there. I, what I did is I went from the back and kind of like popped them out that way, but they're in there really tightly. So you get seven different products. So we're gonna run through each one. First off, you get their Balance and Brighten and I have it in Fair. This is one that I actually already own. So I'm gonna show you this one rather than starting to swatch and use the brand new one. I wanna use this one first that I already had. So this is the Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. Color correcting swirls of pigments are baked for 24 hours on terracotta tiles, then hand finished in Italy. The result is weightless, creamy coverage that self adjusts to leave skin looking even, flawless, and beautifully radiant. So the way that I like to use this is more of kind of like a setting powder um, because I prefer more of like a medium coverage and I would say that this gives you more by itself more kind of light to medium but if you like the more kind of natural makeup look and you really do just want to kind of color correct and sort of even out your skin tone you probably will like this by itself I would use it by itself with maybe some concealer like in certain spots and especially on my under eyes for sure um, just for a little bit of added coverage so like an easy makeup day, I would do that, some concealer and this. But on a regular makeup day where I'm doing a little bit more glam, I prefer to use this as a setting powder. But like I said, if you like a lighter coverage, you may like it by itself. Then you get a blush and you guys know I love Laura Geller blushes. I think they are just so like subtly glowy and beautiful on the skin. They just blend like a dream. They look gorgeous. I love them. So this is one of the Baked Blush and Brightens and this is in Cherry Truffle. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Look at that color. That is so pretty. It's even like glowy in the pan. It's gorgeous. Okay, so this is the Baked Blush and Brighten in Cherry Truffle. Create a gorgeous flush no matter the season. Baked Blush and Brighten features intense pigments whipped into a decadent cream, then baked on terracotta tiles to ripen color vibrancy. So when I first opened this set, I thought, oh man, I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful with that color <laughs> because it looks pretty dark. So, and I'm really fair, but actually, I mean, these, these blushes are so, like they just have such a nice formula to them that I feel like they're really easy to use. You know what I mean? So just a little bit applied, it's easy to blend in. It doesn't just stick onto your skin. It's, it's baked. So it just blends like a dream, but then you can build it up if you want more color intensity. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love this too. I'm so excited to have another color of her blushes. I love them. I think they're amazing. So this one is kind of like a warm terracotta. Yeah, I was gonna say maroon or like a mauve, but no, it's really just kind of a terracotta sort of a color. 
so pretty. And this is one of those colors that you could really just use without a bronzer because you could kind of like keep it a little bit lower and then blend it up so it just kind of like gives that dimension to your face without a bronzer needed. So I love these kind of colors for that. And also it just, that warmth just really like adds so much life, you know, to your face. And I'm really fair, so I need some like color. So I feel like this definitely does that. Then the kit has a couple of brushes. This is the eyeshadow brush and then the powder brush. I totally forgot to use the eyeshadow brush today, but just feeling it, like it feels pretty nice. Um, not the softest brush I've ever felt, but um, I would say it'll definitely be functional and I see it as, hey, it's kind of an added bonus that you get a brush in there. It's pretty nice. Um, I do really like this powder brush though. It's a retractable one. I kind of forget about, I can't say that word, retractable. It's a retractable one. I kind of forget about my retractable brushes, but I've been meaning to keep one of these in my purse and I keep forgetting to do that. But this one is super soft, really, really nice. I use this to apply the foundation today to set my other, like my liquid foundation. And I really like this. This is very, very soft and nice. And it's nice that it's retractable. So, you know, it's very like travel friendly. It would be good for your purse if you could remember to put it in there like I need to do. So it's nice that you get a brush. Definitely the cutest thing in this set is this little eyeshadow palette. This is so adorable. So it's like this and then you open it up and it has little shadows inside. Oh my gosh, it looks like little chocolates. That is so darn cute. So this is the six shade eyeshadow palette in Mocha. Six universally flattering shades in a creamy weightless powder that glides on to deliver vibrant color. So I have this on my eyes today. I've used this a couple of times now. These are all matte shades. So if you like matte eyeshadow looks or if you, you even like, like to have matte shadows for blending, I mean, I use matte shadows every single day, but I usually mix it in with some shimmers or glitters or some kind of like metallic shimmer or something. But today I actually have just all mattes only these and I really kind of like it. I think it's really pretty and like, I don't even know how I would describe it, like very kind of like soft and bridal sort of looking. Really, really like it. These are very nice. They are really like creamy and soft. They do have some fallout and kind of some kick up in the pan, but they're really pigmented and very easy to work with. I think they're beautiful. Let me get these swatched. Here are those. The lighter two colors you can't really see very well on my skin tone because they're really close to my skin tone. I'm very fair and they're light colors, but they're there. <laughs> um, the only one that has a slightly grittier texture to it is this kind of like purpley um, plum sort of shade. It's not a bad shadow, but it has just a slightly grittier sort of a texture than the rest of them do. Really pretty. Look at that kind of like rosy color. Ooh. That's pretty. So what I've been doing is like today, I used this and a little bit of the kind of like pinky shade sort of mixed in my crease. Then I used a little bit of, which one? This one in my crease. And then I used a little bit of the purple in the outer corner and then a little bit of the cream on my lid. So I'm pretty much wearing all of them except for the brown, <laughs> the darker brown, but so pretty. I think this is stinking adorable stinking adorable. I love anything that's like cute packaging and if it looks like candy or chocolate, that's just like an added bonus. And then lastly, you get a couple lip products. So first off the lipstick, this is the Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipstick in Chocolate Raspberry. Oh gosh, I'm wearing this today. I've worn this a couple of times. It's beautiful. Artisan baked pigments and rich moisturizers saturate lips with creamy, vibrant color that feels weightless. A curved bullet shape allows for a single swipe application, providing long lasting, high impact wear. So first off, well, first, first off, I was about to say something else, but first I want to say this before the first. So the packaging is really nice. Like it feels very kind of like weighty. It has a magnetic sort of a closure, sort of has that NARS kind of packaging where it might get a little bit dirty, but I don't notice it getting dirty yet. It just has that sort of like rubbery sort of a feel to it. Now, I will say, I, I'm not a fan of this shape, like the, um, what do they describe it as? A curved bullet shape. I, I found this hard to use. Now, I've kind of like whittled mine down on the, the tip of it there, so it's a little bit easier for me, but I don't have like 
I have kind of small lips, especially my top lip um, is a little bit smaller. So I, I just found it a little bit difficult to use. So I will like it once I get it kind of like nubbed down a little bit. Um, but I do really like that it has like a little like textured pattern on it. I think that's really cool looking. And this color is gorgeous. Look how I'm trying to <laughs> swatch it. So it's just kind of like a a strange sort of shape in my opinion. So I'm not a fan of the shape of it, but I do really like the lipstick itself. It is creamy and comfortable. Now when you first apply it, it is more of like a shiny cream sort of a finish. But as I wore it, it kind of sets down a little bit. And I would say it's not fully matte, but more like a satin. And that makes it even more long wearing. So I was actually really impressed with the wear time of this for how comfortable it was. It did stick around on my lips. So, and I think it's because it kind of like sets down a little bit, but it always stays really comfortable and creamy. Let me have, let me have, let me see if it has a scent. I don't smell anything. Okay, so no scent to it, but I really like this lipstick. The only thing I would change is the shape of it. And then lastly, the gloss. I just popped a little bit on over my lipstick so you can kind of see it on my lips. So this is the Color Drenched Lip Gloss in Cafe Olay. It is a full coverage lip gloss that leaves lips drenched in gorgeous high shine color. And yes, I mean, it is high shine. It definitely has good color payoff. Now I do have it over my lipstick, but let me show you a swatch of it by itself. I mean, it's, it's high pigment for sure. It has a lot of color. It is not a clear sort of lip gloss. I mean, it has color, so you could definitely wear this by itself. This is a really pretty like pinky mauve sort of a color. Really, really beautiful, very bridal looking. Love it. This smells incredible. Oh my gosh. I'm showing you this watch for a couple more seconds and then I'm gonna sniff it. Oh my gosh. It smells like chocolate. Or like coffee and chocolate. Oh my gosh, like some kind of nutty chocolate coffee dessert amazingness, like a coffee shop, but with like dessert in the coffee shop. I don't know. That's what I smell and I love it. Amazing scent. I would say really, really comfortable on the lips. Really, um, I was gonna say it's not, well, I'm trying to think of how to describe if it's sticky or not sticky. Definitely not sticky, but I would say it has a little bit of, it's not even tacky, but a little bit of something that makes it feel like it's gonna stay on longer, which I like. So it's not like a full on NYX butter gloss. Like I think that those are some of the most comfortable lip glosses, but those really don't stick around hardly at all. Those are just really pretty on the lips. Whereas this one seems like a step above that so that it feels like it's gonna stick around a little bit longer. And of course being more high pigment, that's gonna you know help with that a little bit. So I really do like this, especially the scent. Okay guys, so that's everything that comes in this set. So my overall review of this is that I really, really like it. I think these are super high quality products that perform really nicely. I think the presentation and just the whole look of the set is super cute and just really beautiful. So I think it'd make a really nice gift, but also just something fun for yourself as well. So I'm definitely a fan of this set. I think it's really, really nice. My standout products are definitely the lipstick, the gloss, and the blush. I love those the most. So those are my standouts. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. I'm gonna link this set down below for y'all so you can read more about it there. If you have more questions for me, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.